Hey everyone, Dr. Remy from Pain Free and Fit and Posture Size. Today we've got a great exercise for those of you with low back spondylolisthesis. It's an advanced exercise that helps train hip flexor muscles, spinal stabilization, the abs, all in one, known as the rolling ball sit-up. Hope you enjoy. So remember, the rolling ball setup for spinal listhesis of the lower back is an advanced exercise. If you haven't yet figured out how to stabilize your lower back, if you're not familiar with how to correct anterior hip mount positions, if you don't know how to properly use your glutes and your abs to stabilize your hips and your lower back and know your RPI position, many times this exercise is going to hurt you rather than help you. So if you're not sure what your body mechanics are, what your postural issues are, what your stabilizing muscle issues are for your spinal listhesis, go to the posture size of the painfreeandfit.com website, take our free body analysis, learn how to stabilize your lower back first. That being said, the idea with this exercise is we're going to train the abdominals to hold a neutral spine. Spinal listhesis, remember, in the lower back is many times aggravated when there's an excess extension, meaning the tailbone goes higher than the pubic bone causing an increased arch in the back that jams the facet joints and the back of the disc fibers down, causing pain. We've talked about before, once you find your neutral spine position in your lower back, tensing the tailbone back upwards. We're going to use that in this exercise. Initially, there's a little tailbone under motion when you sit on a physio ball or a Swiss ball to flatten the curve in the lower back. That engages your abs. But then you want to use those deep fibers of what's known as your erector spinae muscle to tense the tailbone back upwards without actually moving it back upwards. So you want to flatten that curve in the back, but tense it back the other way. Those deep fibers attach to the vertebra at L5 and L4 in such a way that they exert a backwards pull that helps to check or prevent those spinal aesthetic vertebra from sliding forward. So with that said, we're going to start in a seated position, our feet facing straight ahead. My upper body weight is centered over the crease where my leg meets my buttock. That's my starting position. And I'm going to engage my neutral spine. I can go tail up, tail under, one hip down, the other hip down, a little rotation, put myself into that mid position that's explained in other videos or in our various programs at the painfreeandfit.com website. Once I have that in position, I'm going to use my glute muscles to tense my thigh bones, my upper leg bones, backwards in the hip sockets. Because remember, with spondylo, we don't want to overutilize those hip flexor muscles on the front of our body. If I'm not engaging my glutes or buttock muscles to properly stabilize the hip, as I do this exercise, I'm going to have excessive hip flexor activity. Muscles like the rectus femoris, the ITB and the tensor fascia lata, the front of the brevis, the adductor brevis, the iliopsoas, those muscles are going to contract too strong and that may exert an anterior tilt to the pelvis or a forward pull on the vertebra like the iliopsoas that's going to aggravate spondylum. So I have to engage my glutes when doing this abdominal exercise. The glutes are going to help the thigh bones, those hard balls on the side of your hips, stay back in the hip sockets. As I do that, I hold my core, holding my neutral spine, and I'm going to roll from the hip joint, the ball and socket of the hip joint, backwards until my low back hits the ball. I'm not increasing the arch in my back. And then I'm going to reverse that using abdominal tension. So the hip flexors and the abs are working together through this motion as I come back. And if you notice, there's no motion happening in my lower back. Once I've set that curve, that tail end, and that tension back up, it's locked in place like a cement block. All the motion is occurring at my hip joint as I come forward and backwards. If I go too far back and try to lean my head back, that's going to arch my lower back. That could irritate me. So I stay locked in that position with my abs, and I have a concerted effort between hip flexor muscles, bringing my thighs and pelvis back together, flexing at the hip joint, my abdominals, my deep erector spinal muscles, holding my body in position. When you first learn this, you use a slow cadence. As time goes on, you use a faster cadence. It's important to keep the feet down. Avoid lifting either the heels or the foot up as you're doing this. That's going to use excessive hip flexor muscle activity. You can also do this in rotation, where as you come back, you have a little twist to the pelvis to one side. Your nose and pubic bone go to one side. And you can come back and then turn your nose and pubic bone slightly to the other side. That's going to engage some of your abdominal obliques, like the internal external oblique, make a fuller overall abdominal workout for you, protecting your spinal
If you like this exercise, the rolling ball setup for spondylolisthesis, feel free to subscribe to our channel. We get a lot of great videos out there for spondylo. Questions or comments, write in. I'll do my best to answer them as always. Give me a thumbs up below. Let's share these valuable exercises for spondylolisthesis with others. And if you're looking for a great customized program to help you with your spondylolisthesis, look no further than our painfreeandfit.com's Fast Track Spondylo program. It has all your analysis of your body mechanics, conditioning exercises, stretching, strengthening, endurance, spinal stability exercises, and how to take your present level of physical conditioning and get more physical back into the activities you like to do without hurting yourself. If you don't like to read those programs, get in touch with me on the painfreeandfit.com website. We can design a program for you, just you and me, putting together a great step, step-by-step -step program instruction to help you take you from your present state with your spondylolisthesis back to more physical activities and augment the healing process for your spondylolisthesis pain. I hope this exercise, the rolling ball sit-up, helps you with your lower back spondylolisthesis.